Welcome back. We love to connect you with your community and keep you in the know about what's happening all around Colorado. So bundle up and celebrate Leap Day in Old Town, Arvada for a winter celebration of art, entertainment, and community. Winterfest is back. Eric Kwame and Joe Hengsler are here to give us all the details on this spectacular event. So let's just kick things off with what is Winterfest all about? Yeah, absolutely. So Winterfest is this great free family friendly festival that happens in Old Town, Arvada. Um, it happens in McElvoy Park, which is this great, beautiful park. And this event really has something for everybody. I mean, there's multicultural entertainment. We have uh, art exhibits. We have art demos going on. There's going to be ice sculptors. There's going to be sleigh rides. There's going to be a beer garden. Nice. Um, so yeah, really something for everybody there. That is true. So what about the kids' activities? Are there lots of things for the kids to participate in and get outside in, in, you know, in the cold at Winterfest? Yep, we will have uh, kids' cultural activities like origami, um, a ninja demo class, um, calligraphy, and new this year we're actually going to have activities for pet owners and their pets. Oh, I love that. You know, those activities, I've never heard those before at, at a festival, origami, things like that. Good for you guys for coming up with really unique ways to get the kids involved. That's awesome. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit more about how, how those pets can get involved as well. Do I really want to bring my dog down to a festival? Because I like that in invitation. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. There's a local pet store in our Old Town Arvada called Paws and Play. Yeah. They are presenting a ugly sweater competition for oh, pets. Oh, very nice. As well as a pet agility course. And so um, that'll be a fundraiser for um, the Arvada Food Bank, which is called Community Table. And it's a $14 registration fee for your pet. And you can uh, register online in advance or the day of before the festival at about 1030. I bet that's going to be a popular part of the event. So yep. where's the, what's the inspiration behind Winterfest? Where's this all come from? You know, Winterfest really it started a couple years ago. I believe this is our third annual one. And when we started it, um, it was the same year as the Winter Olympics. And so there was this emphasis on multiculturalism. And yeah. then we have such a diverse community in Arvada. And there's so much to like shine the light on in mm -hmm. Colorado. So for us to be able to continue this event and continue to highlight these great organizations, whether it's um, the Colorado Asian Culture Cultural Heritage Center or you know the many nations Native American dancers it's just fantastic mm -hmm. for us so it's something we take a lot of pride in as a commission yeah I bet so let's talk about what community table is and how this ties into Winterfest absolutely and I mean this is just one of those things that makes Arvada such a vibrant community yeah. we have this great nonprofit um, community table and really I mean they had they serve this need of bringing families that are struggling and helping them get out of poverty and then there's this food bank there and there's a health clinic there and all of this is not just for Arvada but it really works for Jeffco County in general. Right, That's good to hear. Now it sounds like the festival is actually organized by the community which makes it really unique. It is. It's put on by the Arvada Festivals Commission which Joe and I are members of. Mm -hmm. The board is appointed by Arvada City Council and we also put on about five other festivals throughout the year including Arvada Kite Festival in April. We have a beer festival called Arvada on Tap in June. We have Arvada Days in August, and we're starting a new movie series around Arvada Parks this year um, with four movies throughout the summer. Oh, that'll be a popular event, too. Those are always fun. Let's talk about parking. What kind of parking tips do you got for us? Oh, parking in Old Town, my favorite <laughs> um, conversation. So there is uh, free street parking. Okay. Of course, we recommend if you're coming down and you can take the G line, take the G line. Yes. Um, if you get down there and you're driving, there's the Old Town Parking Hub that sits just south of Grandview. So you can enter it off of Vance or you can enter it off of Old Wadsworth. Uh, parking is free in there. And just go ahead and use the Passport app. Okay, good to know. And where's the place we should send everyone to get all the details about Winterfest? Oh, you want to go to ArvadaFestivals.com. You'll see the full schedule of events for the year and so many more details about this event. Awesome. Well, have fun this weekend, guys, and have fun with that ugly sweater contest for the pups. I like that. <laughs> we'll keep an eye for those pictures. <laughs> we'll bundle up and celebrate arts and culture at Arvada Winterfest on February 29th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Micklevoy Park at 5750 Upham Street in Old Town, Arvada. For more info, just head to ArvadaFestivals.com.